goddamn, this looks like something from the 40, 1940s or 50s. Well, it is, Dave. Uh, literally the 1940s and into the 1950s. This was created by a man named John Thorpe, who also created some other notable aircraft. Uh, the Thorpe T-18 is one of his most famous designs. But this particular one, if you look at it, it bears a certain resemblance to a very popular model in the United States, the Piper Cherokee. Indeed, this particular aircraft is the one that in many ways led to the Piper Cherokee, the now the Cherokee, now the Warrior design from that company. And uh, this uses some very in interesting construction techniques. If you look at this wing, this is something that the Piper company didn't go for, but this has external ribbing, you might say. Inside this wing, there is only three internal ribs as opposed to a whole series of them, but these uh, bumps, if you will, along the top of the wing provide structural rigidity to the airplane and also help with what's called spanwise flow. You don't want air bleeding out to the end of a wing any more than you have to and this actually aids that purpose. Now this aircraft, it looks like it's all metal construction. This is an all metal airplane completely through and through and uh, they, it is available with a variety of engines. Now they have reshaped the nose cowling on it. Uh, thanks to some initial work by the Lopresti people of uh, speed mod fame. Uh, they ended up finishing the job themselves and have done a nice bit of work with it. But this one is available with a Continental engine, with a Jabiru engine, or they have a new diesel engine that they're just beginning to promote for the Torpedo line of airplanes. Now the Torpedo is uh, a particular model, sub-model name. The T211 is really how this airplane was originally known. Now is this manufactured in the U.S.? This one is completely manufactured in the U.S., although there is part fabrication done for it in India. And the name of the company kind of gives that away. The name of the company is Indus Aviation, and that's an abbreviation for India and the U.S. The company is owned by a man named Ram Patisapu, who is Indian by birth, although he's been an American medical doctor for many, many years. And uh, he is hoping to and working to have this airplane be a popular training aircraft in India, as well as those who enjoy it in the U.S.A. Uh, dollars and cents wise, I understand that this is priced within that training range, something that is low priced and very durable. Yeah, it depends on how you load it up with options and so forth, and people tend to put more rather than less on it, it seems. But uh, it does have a lower price point down into the uh, high 80,000s at a base price, which in the modern uh, cost of these airplanes is a very good number. Control systems wise, and Dan, uh, what controls are we using here? Well, this little side by side two seater has dual stick controls on both sides with conventional rudder controls as well. A uh, very nicely well-behaved airplane, no surprises in this airplane. It's not a real high performer, although all their speed mods that they've done have improved it that way, but this is basically a nice, easy airplane that's really well suited to the flight training market. And what kind of cruise and stall speed would we have on it? Uh, the stall speed uh, numbers are about 45 knots, and uh, cruise speed is a little over 100 knots in this airplane. That's 100 knots, 150 miles an hour. Uh, but that's a pretty good number for an airplane of this vintage and they have one of these that's still flying without changes or modifications from 1951 I believe. Been all over the states with it. So if somebody wanted to get more information on it, uh, what's the website uh, they would visit? Their website is indusaviation.com, that's I-N-D-U-S aviation.com. And do you also have a flight report on this on your site, Dan? I do. I have two or three pilot reports on this uh, model and some of its related models at my site at bydanjohnson.com. That's bydanjohnson.com.